Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. Uh, in this video, I wanted uh, to talk about my experience at Johns Hopkins. So uh, as you, a lot of you might know that back in my second year of MBBS, when I was in a fourth semester, I went to Johns Hopkins, which is probably one of the world's best hospital and medical university in the world. And I want to talk about my experience as a visiting uh, medical student there, as an international uh, visiting med medical student there. So uh, a lot of you want to know why, why did you, I go for elective. So basically initially during my MBBS, I thought that I'll actually go to the US route, which most Ames Unions back in the heydays used to do. They used to do their MBBS from Ames and they used to go to US for their post-graduation. Some used to say, this i'm used to come back and electives are an important part for that specifically because of the fact that uh, uh, many universities require clinical experience and a clinical elective as a part of your cv they require it for the matching process a clinical elective is in my opinion way more important than a research elective however research elective is also important because it gives an opportunity to peek into the us health system and gets you lors and especially in an lor from a professor of stature from johns hopkins carries a lot of value so people also go for research electives so uh, I chose uh, Johns Hopkins Medicine uh, Hospital and School of Medicine. Why? Because it's consistently ranked as uh, the best or if not the best, definitely among the top two or top three medical schools in US and around the world. And uh, the good thing was that a lot of Imzen in every year used to go to Hopkins. So we had an experience regarding Hopkins where to stay, you know, uh, how to go there. Uh, there were certain professors we knew that uh, regularly accept Amazonians. So uh, getting into an elective became easier and things like that. Basically, it was the ease. Some of my batch, some of my seniors had went to Harvard as well. Uh, Prakash went to Harvard for a clinical elective. Some of my senior juniors went to Mayo Clinic. So, but John Hopkins is the most tried and tested. So even I went there. Plus, it's one of the, obviously, simply the best. So why to experiment, right? So I went there for a duration of total of nine weeks for two, close to two months. Uh, this is me at Johns Hopkins Hospital. This was also a photo that I clicked at the Johns Hopkins Hospital. Uh, and I worked in the 2014, that is eight years now actually. Yeah, in the summer of 2014, I went there. I worked in the Department of Gastroenterology. So how do you prepare for elective? What do you do? So basically what it exa exactly involves is you mail to a lot of professors in Hopkins. You can go to op the Johns Hopkins official website, try to find their email IDs. We had a list of email IDs at Ames. So we send them um, a lot of mails. Uh, some professors replied in negative that they do not have the vacancy. Some people did not even reply. Maybe they did not see our mails. Maybe they were not interested. And uh, some people finally would reply uh, in... Uh, uh, affirmative. The thing is that uh, the thing that determines because the only thing that you're sending them is your uh, curriculum material, that is your CV, your CV should be impressive. And that's where the importance of AIMS comes. AIMS is recognized as a brand all over the world. Okay. And that's why the tag of AIMS Union gets you an easy, uh, makes it easier for you to score an elective. And uh, we made sure that if you are meeting a professor in gastroenterology, I'll tell that I have interest in that particular subject, particular field and things like that. So that they also get interested. So I, at that point of time, had a project ongoing on IBD, inflammatory bowel disease. That's why I felt it would be easier for me to score an elective in gastroenterology. And that's why I could, uh, and that's what happened. I scored an elective in gastroenterology. So finally, when the professor says, yes, come, you, there comes a lot of paperwork, the entire paperwork, which forms to send and things like that. You have to mail them to Johns Hopkins. You can find this information on the Johns Hopkins website. Then after that, you have to get the visa. Visa process is daunting, but it's a B1, B2 visa. It's a tourist visa that you can get. But the interview itself is a very daunting process. I'm not going to go into the interview process and everything. So this is my US visa. Uh, obviously, I've uh, cut a lot of things. Uh, the good thing is I still have that. This visa is still valid. It's valid in 2024. So if I want to go now visit US just as a tourist, I can still do. So what did I used to do there? So this is me uh, at uh, my place. That person, this person that I'm... Uh, this person which is there is this person particular person is Dr. Uh, Vivian Thomas and this is the Alfred Blalock clinical building so uh, I might have told you before about a movie called something the Lord made something the Lord made it's a movie about the Blalock toxic shunt which is used in Tetralogy of Fallot. Top mein jo BT shunt hum padte hai, MBA students might relate. Uh, so in that BT shunt, the Blalock building ye hai, unuske assistant was Vivian Thomas. There's a good movie made, you can watch that. So normal day, since I was in gastroenterology, involved me going, uh, doing the ward rounds, going to the OPD, observing endoscopy there. Then the clinical work that essentially the research work involved, data entry and literature review. And I was uh, going to publish a review article. 
so this is me just fooling around in Johns Hopkins so this was basically it was just like a let's say a clinical posting instead of me doing two months of clinical posting here at Ames Delhi I do, did two months of clinical posting along with research work at Johns Hopkins so uh, I was, here if we are going for a clinical posting in the morning we'll go we'll take a patient we'll take up a case and then we'll, we'll uh, discuss it with our professor there I used to shadow the professor when he used to take all the rounds then he used to do his endoscopy I used to be there during the endoscopy part then he used to go for his uh, you know uh, OPDs and I used to be there with the OPDs and then the clinical research part always used to be there that I used to do data entry I was writing a review articles researching uh, researching for uh, you know uh, writing a review article and uh, doing uh, some uh, clinical research essentially it was not a uh, basic science research remember uh, some of us went for basic science research so some of my colleagues went for basic science research they did PCR they did uh, you know uh, all those things that you learn in biochemistry and things like that but mine was more clinical but that I would it will be a it was a semi-clinical elective in that way which I like that I got to know the US medical system working there at the same point of time I did clinical research writing a review article so but the better, better thing that I did there was probably explore US. So we explored around Baltimore, the Baltimore, so Hopkins is in Baltimore, uh, in the state of Maryland, we went to Baltimore Harbor, went to a lot of restaurants, went to a lot of museums, uh, and every weekend, so I was there for eight to nine weeks, every weekend we made it, made it a point, every alternate weekend, to go to some other place. So we went to Washington DC, this is, this is by the way the White House. Uh, it's not as impressive, let me be very sh clear about this, uh, White House was, uh, Rashtrapati Bhavan, White House pales in comparison to Rashtrapati Bhavan or uh, you know, but yes, Washington DC by itself is very beautiful, extremely beautiful city, this is the Washington Mem uh, Memorial, this is the White House, uh, this is me standing in front of the US Capitol, this is the US Capitol, enjoyed wa Washington DC, we went to Washington DC twice. Then I also went to the Niagara Falls, uh, went to New York. New York is the, you know, the center of the uh, civilization as far as US is concerned. Uh, loved uh, New York, went to, this is a photo from where I went to, you know, uh, Disney World. We went to Disney World in Florida as well. Uh, there were fireworks and everything and went there. And finally, towards the end, I was longing to come back to India, you know, fair enough. So I've already made a video about why I did not like US as far as going there for post-graduation and going, you know, settling there is concerned. I love Johns Hopkins, you know, working there. Johns Hopkins was an amazing place, you know. And, uh, you know, I went with my colleagues, uh, four of my friends. We had a gala time there and gala time in the Hopkins itself. Hosting the Hopkins was not a problem. And obviously I explored US as well, be it DC, be it Niagara Falls or be it New York and things like that. But what are my exact reasons I did not like US going there? I've already explored it in a video with Prakash. You can watch that video, Gupta in US versus Gupta in India. What were my reasons for not going to US? So this was my experience, a small brief experience into how I got to go to the best hospital in the world. Thank you and have a nice day.